Hey guys, nobody here, and welcome to episode two of my Sonic Let's Play. Sonic Generations Let's Play. Which is like the third in a series of three Sonic Let's Plays that I've done, and no one watches. Because I'm not popular, but someday I will be. Just you watch. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so we're going to be tackling Chemical Plant Zone and Sky Sanctuary Zone back to back in this episode, and... Uh, all I really have to say is Chemical Plant Zone is amazing. Sky Sanctuary Zone, as classic Sonic, is a pain in the ass. I hated recording the classic section of Sky Sanctuary Zone. Oh my god. I had to repeat it like 30 times. I had an hour of screw-up footage. Oh man, it was a pain in the butt. And I missed that red ring. But it's right there, if you want to go get it. Um, but yeah, so, the, uh, I don't think I've talked about the music in Sonic Generations, and all the remixes for Sonic Generations are hit and miss, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I, I do not care for some of the remixes in this game, and I know that's kind of blasphemous to say, considering most of the Sonic Generations, or most of the Sonic fandom will basically tell you that all the remixes are great, but... And I'm sure they are. I do not like all of them. I like the ones for the classic zones. Like, you know, uh, Generations, or not Generations, God. I'm playing Sonic Generations. Like, you know, Green Hill Zone and in, or, uh, Chemical Plant Zone, Sky Sanctuary. I like the one for Seaside Hill Zone. It's really, really nice. I do not like the one for City Escape. I really, really don't like the one for City Escape. Excuse me. Um, also, I just don't like the theme for Planet Wisp, but I, I, that's a personal thing. Um, but so yeah, the, uh, classic stage in this game, as you can see, are all, uh, 2D. They're very much like the original Sonic games, and the, uh, 3D stages are a lot more like the Unleashed and Colors gameplay with the boost. I think they call it the boost style. Um... I always just called it the modern Sonic style because I can't really think of a modern Sonic game that didn't have boost in it and I don't really consider Sonic 06 a Sonic game, it's more like a Sonic failure, so excluding Sonic 06, I don't all the modern Sonic games have the boost formula. I mean it was in Rush and Rush Advance, or was it Rush, Adve Rush Adventure, whatever. The, Rush sequel was in that one, so uh, I guess it wasn't all modern time. The boost formula. I don't really hate it, but I understand why you don't like it because it is very much you know press X to win or square or whatever controller you happen to be using for your PC that you have to map the boost button to. And getting that red ring while you're falling down the tube is a pain in the ass. Controlling Sonic in the air while he's falling is kind of hard to do. He's really, really floaty. Um, I get the... It's not exactly supposed to be precise, but... It's really, really hard to get him to go where you want. And I always feel like precise controls and platformers are uh, something that you want. Mostly in everything you're doing. Even ice levels require precise control. But there are no ice levels in this game. Yay! I mean, aww. Also, you can actually, like the original Chemical Plant Zone and like original Sonic games, you can actually get through the entirety of Chemical Plant Zone without touching the water. In fact, I did that while I was um, trying to record for this uh, playthrough. It was not this run, but I did do it, and I did get the achievement, and I felt very proud six years after the game came out. Because I'm a good Sonic fan like that, and holy crap. Okay, so uh, don't boost there. You'll uh, you, you'll you'll not go where you want to go. Also, if you wanted to know, that's how you land on the rail. Yes. You're supposed to boost in the air. It's all boost formula relies on the boost too much, especially in this game. But this game's got a few issues. It's really easy to get S ranks, like stupid easy. Chemical plant feels familiar. I'd never forget a smell like this. 
Now that pink water makes me really nervous for some reason. You're right, Tails. This place has given me deja vu all over again. Good deja vu or bad deja vu? But since we cleared up both chemical plant zone acts, we have freed another one of Sonic's friends. And if you can't tell who it is now, you saved me, Sonic. I was afraid I'd never be able to flirt with you again. You get to watch Sonic regret it. Wonderful. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> but if you were wondering, depending on how you complete the acts, because you are not limited to completing Act One first before you complete Act Two, um, and freeing this, and depending on who you you know clear the act with finally, they actually do say different things to uh, classic or modern Sonic, which we'll see now because I've decided to tackle Act Two first and Act One second specifically to show this gimmick. So, um, one of the things that I actually didn't like was that you couldn't get the red rings in the first playthrough of Green Hill, but you can get them in literally the first playthrough of every other stage. And I don't like that in Sky Sanctuary, you're basically forced to play the stage three times to get all the red rings. Granted, you don't necessarily have to collect the red rings. I mean, you don't get anything besides, like, music and artwork, and, uh, I think that's it. So... I mean, if that's what you want, you can collect them all, but you have to replay a lot of the levels for it. Granted, the levels are really fun and fun to replay, but... I don't know, I like the idea of being able to collect them all in one go. You know, it, it's it's just a fun little, you know, extra bonus challenge that I like to apply to myself. You know, can you get all the collectibles in one go? And I get that most of the gimmicks for, like, collect-a-thon games, or the ability to backtrack once you get, like, new um, abilities and whatnot, but... I've always liked the ability to just, you know, clear everything whenever I want and not be forced to replay things. <laughs> also, almost falling over that edge almost made me piss myself. I didn't know that there was a spring there, so when I went over the edge, <laughs> I almost threw my controller across the room. And uh, when I hit the spring, I, l I literally stopped, paused, and had to readjust myself. Also, the first few times you may play this level, you might not even realize that you can jump off of the uh, uh, the zip lines, but you actually can. So you might want to try it next time. You might find another pathway that you didn't know was there before. Also, uh, uh, like I said. Uh, we will not be getting all the red rings, but um, at least I think I said that in the last episode. If I didn't, yeah, I'm saying it now. We're not going to be getting all the red rings. This is not a 100% playthrough, but I will get everything that I... I won't ignore the red rings. I'll get ones that I happen to see, but I won't be going out of my way to get them. Also, you can actually clear that gap, but you probably shouldn't boost to do it. One of the problems with the boost formula games, at least this one, is aside from the press X to win idea, which I don't mind the boost formula, I like the boost formula, kind of, but one of the big problems that I will acknowledge with it is it encourages you to boost and then does not give you levels that are really designed around that mechanic a lot. And I know it's like, you know, it's a 3D platformer, you know, you have to slow down to platform. Yeah, you do, but I also have some issues with the way Sonic platforms in general. Um, for one, he doesn't keep his momentum. Like, if you're rolling down a hill in his, uh, like, in 2D form, if you roll down a hill and you hold down, like, in a, as a ball, in the classic games you pick up speed, well, you do not pick up speed here. In fact, if you hold down and spin into a ball, you will basically come to a stop, even if you don't have sure-footed, or uh, not sure-footed, uh, actually, yeah, is it sure-footed, even if you don't have sure-footed, uh, equipped, you will essentially come to a stop, you will not, keep, uh, maintain your momentum, kind of sucks, 
And when you're platforming as 3D Sonic, I'm just not really a fan of the way he handles platforming-wise. Again, I'm not saying it's bad. If you like it, you like it. Cool. And, you know, I've made it work. I can enjoy it. I can get fun out of it. But I'm not... I don't want to sound like one of those guys who's like, bring back the adventure formula, but... One of the things that I did like about the adventure formula that I can point to that they don't have here and that they basically dropped was the ability to kind of control your homing attack. You know, when you homing attack here, you can homing attack in any direction, but once you press A, you go in one direction, but and you're basically locked in that direction. But in the adventure games, you could kind of... You basically had free range of motion with where your homing attack went. And, um... The spin dash was really useful, too. You know, being able to charge up and then unleash instant speed like that. You had a lot more... I guess free range of movement. Whereas, uh, being locked with the boost formula and... Um, not having the uh, spin dash and your homing attack basically locking you to one plane of movement once you press uh, attack, once you press the button. I'm just not a big fan of it. I can make it work, I can get fun out of it, but I still have issues with it, you know? I'm not calling it a bad game. You know, I, I have fun when I'm playing it. I wouldn't be let's playing it if I thought it was a bad game. I think it's a great game. But it is not without flaws. And not everyone might have liked the ability to, you know, control the homing attack. It might, might be too easy to screw up. But I feel like once I had figured it out, I was able to do really, really fun things with it. You know, there was a sense of movement that you don't get in this one. Also, Sonic's kind of a bit slow to pick up speed. That's a minor gripe, though. Thanks, Sonic. You did a good job back there. Hey, did you gain weight? <laughs> Insensitive Knuckles making classic Sonic feel conscientious Sonic. about his own weight. Or conscious about his weight. Conscientious. I'm turning into my mom. Ugh. Anyway, guys. I hope that you enjoyed running through these two uh, levels back to back. I uh, hope that you'll stick around for the rest of the Let's Play, and in the next episodes, we will be tackling the side missions in Sonic Generations. Until then, I'm Nobody, and I'll see you next time. Peace.